Guys, we're back again to give you good actions. I hope you are doing good, we're meeting you in good health, and we thank. I want to ask you. I hope you're watching our videos. Please do, and always watch to the end. Okay, today we are back again to give you some good actions, and this time around you're going to see how to defend street, real street knife defense, as it occurs, as it could occur, it could occur on a regular basis. You're going to watch it. But before we go or to the action straight now, I want to remind our first timers do always watch the videos to the end so that you understand it clearly and then subscribe please do subscribe and hit the bell so that i get our updates as it drops then for our esteemed subscribers we say keep staying tuned now we we'll go straight to the action and this is what we're talking about on back to the weaponry principles of weaponry would not allow this but now the scenario we're looking at here now is i am not a self a train i am not a trained martial artist i'm a trained fighter i am a layman we are layman now these are the things that could happen okay now we the knife is not hidden it's not seen hide the knife okay now pop, 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 pop. and in this in the in, in the process it brings out the knife pop. you see that now once it brings out the knife what do you do your attention is on the hand where the knife is. Can I see that? It's trying to bring it close, and you don't allow that. Now you lock, lock, bam. Okay, bam. Because it's right there, bam, and then bam. You see that? You there? Okay. Now watch that again. How is that possible? Knife is already mm -hmm. here. Okay. Now we are here. Now you lock here. It's trying to struggle. Tries to bring it. Boom. See that? Why I went to that, uh, I, I succeeded to take that strike is he tries to change the hand. No, no don't change. Now he's trying to bend in. He's trying to bend it, no way. Now when he tries to change, bam! Once this, bah, I have succeeded to take the knife. You see that? Okay. No. Because, it's not because I couldn't stop him from here, which is the most appropriate then I should not stop him here now when I'm stopping here I have to also be very very alert not to allow because if I stop him here bam. okay now there's no way he can struggle because it's locked there bah, 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 bah. no way I can pull strike here bam. see that and then the knife because all you need to do is to kill the hand kill the hand Probably, I may not want to use the leg. Bam! Then I realize it there. One, I free this hand. Bam! All you need to do is kill this hand. Once you kill this hand, the knife is gone. All right? Okay. Now, in a situation where you struggle with an opponent. All right. Mm. See this? See that? It's down. Okay. Can you see this? Mm, you can finish in the far. Ah! All right. Now, watch this. How that is possible? You're already out. Now what? Pow. Now the moment I stop the knife here. Well, first of all. My first, my first point of attack or counter was here. And the moment I stuck it here, I slide. Ha! I slide it down systematically. And then I twist. Now with this twist, you might be living here. But I think I went to this extent. Strike down. And it goes down. And I turn the knife. In. In. Uh, see that? Turn the knife in. I use this knife against him. All right, come up again. Now, slowly, you go. Palm here. Slide, twist. Now the twisting. If let's assume you don't know how to twist. Now you just take a block. Pop. Now you'll be finding it difficult because you'll be struggling. Now struggle on how you want to. Okay, you see that? See that now you're giving him room to do that. Except from here, you find another way to either cross him and strike. But good enough if you can twist. Once he's here, all you do is 
Bam! Lock. First pie goes down. Pie. And you get the knife. Boom! Pie. That's done. And face here. Now watch from here. Can you see that? I lock him. I'm struggling. Now I have to stop him by twisting. See that? The moment I twist him, he's helpless. Now what do I do? Pa! He goes down. And the knife. Pooh! Pooh! Simple. Okay? Alright. Now, let me try to explain a scenario like this. What about a scenario where, as we have the. Uh, uh, okay, what about a scenario as we did sometime? Now, watch, he brought out the knife, and I can't get him this way. But instead, I go this way. Why? Because I miss here. It shouldn't be because I have missed here, then I should allow the knife to pass. Now, because I have missed here, palm. Now, this one now comes with a harder strike to restrain the hand. Now from here now, it will be difficult a bit for you to twist, but if you can, you can do it. Twist in. But most importantly, the moment, the moment struggle after that, bam, boom! The moment you take that here, bam, strike you. Or if there's no room for you to take that strike, he's still struggling and trying to come in, trying to come in, boom! See that? You take some time, you allow him do the struggling, do the struggling, then the next thing is, because he's free now, pa! You are there, the woman is pa! Pa! And then, pa! See that? The knife moves. Okay? The target, let's show you the target, so that you understand. Now from here, here. Like I said, you choose either from here, you go immediately, or if there's no room at first, you allow him, he struggles and struggles, and once there's a room, you strike. Now, that strike goes straight to the tummy. Hard one on the tummy, and the moment you go hard on the tummy, he will sink. Okay, now, react with boom! Uh. You can see that? Now, once he's here, you only take your hand here. Pah! See that? Strike down, the knife goes. One, pa! He goes. Pah, and the knife is off. Okay? All right. Let's take one more. Now go slowly. Pass it. Boom. Bah. You see that? <laughs> That's why I guys, as I told you, I said you have to be very careful. You have to add a little pressure. So you see what happened. So you have to be very careful when you're doing that. You have, there's a bit, a bit of speed and pressure, and you see the result. So like I said, please take note. Whatever you see, whatever we do, and you watch, is something that has to do with previous training or series of training. You have to undergo training, and you have to know the principles. Once it has to do with weaponry, principles, you can't roll that out. You must get to know the principles of weaponry, then you know how to face weaponry. So this was particularly a situation where it has to do with layman action. All right? So with this, we're going to leave you with just a few points until we come your way next time. Then for our esteemed subscribers, we say thank you, thumbs up, keep watching. Then, first time us, do always remember, watch the video to the end. And also our viewers, watch the video to the end. But for first timers, also watch the video to the end and then subscribe and hit the bell. See, so we'll come your way next time.